Bonjour! Welcome or welcome back to French Action. My name is Jenny. Today we will be focusing on a particular exam. It's called CSEC Paper 2, where you will have to respond to 10 specific situations in writing. And even if you don't take this exam, I think that is still good practice for you. Vous êtes prêt? C'est parti! Paper 2 has four parts. Situations is the first one worth 30 points. It's quite a lot of points. In my view, it is the easiest part of the paper. So that's the reason why I am really working on this video is because I see very often students losing point in a very silly billy way. So I'm going to show you how easy it is. And I would also advise you not to leave any blanks. There's no reason for you to leave blanks in the situations. So we're going to see how we can uh, go through them very quickly. I'm not going to spend time on the marking scheme. However, I will refer you to Greener Side Language Academy. He produced an awesome video for CISEC Spanish, which is called Pass Your CISEC Spanish Exam Tips for Paper 2. And as you know, the marking scheme for Spanish is the same for French. And he explained everything in English, so why not watch it? I'm sure that you're going to find it very useful. And if, in addition to French, you do Spanish, I would advise you to subscribe to his channel because all these videos are very useful. Before we actually do the situations, you need to understand what they are looking for. So I'm just going to go through the main characteristics. The first thing we need to remember is that a situation is not a translation. I mean, they are not asking you to translate anything. Okay. The good thing about it is that you can actually say what you want whilst abiding by the instructions. So remember, no translations required. The second point is that you need to know that not all situations require a complete sentence. For example, if you have to wish someone um, a happy birthday, you just say joyeux anniversaire, and that will be enough. An important point to remember is that only one sentence is allowed. So you have to be careful. If you write two sentences, the examiner is not going to read the other part. So you will not get your full three points. And the last point, we need to know that it could be formal or informal. Okay, some students think that it's always informal. That's not true. It can be either. The first thing you have to do before attempting the situations is to read the instructions. Very often students rush because they think that the instructions are always the same. Most of the time, yes, of course they are the same, but please read the instructions because in that you have the important part. It says write in French. And as you can see, it's in capital letters. Write in French the information required for each of the situations given below. Do not write more than one sentence for each situation. So I've told you before, if you go over one sentence, if you do more than one sentence, the, se the second one will not be read. For some situations, a complete sentence may not be necessary. Do not translate the situations given. Another point is do not use abbreviations. 
So for example, if you need to write Madame, you're not going to write M-M-E, which is the abbreviation for Madame. You'll have to write the whole, you know, the full word. Write each answer in the spaces provided. You will be penalized for disregarding these instructions. So why lose points if you are not really doing what they're asking you to do? If they say one sentence, just write one sentence. As simple as that. We are now going to work on those 10 situations. So first of all, I will read the situation. Then draw your attention to what is required. You will have 10 seconds to think about your answer. Of course, if it's too short, I mean, 10, cent 10 seconds is very short, but if it's too short for you, please pause the video. Then I will give you my personal response. Remember, my personal response is not the response to the situations. Okay? There are, uh, there are possible answers, possible responses. Okay? Your response will be different from mine and I'm sure it will still be correct. Situation number one, you have lost your purse and you report it to the police. They want to know two features about your purse. What do you write? Okay, so here you have the context, you've lost your purse and you are at the police station, okay? What they want to see in writing is two features about the purse. So you can write anything which comes through your mind. As long as you have two features and it's about your purse. Okay? So are you ready? Now, if you don't know the word for purse, because that could happen that on the day you can't remember the word for purse, you can just say it is, c'est. All right? So that is a little tip for you. Just put c'est. It's obviously better to write the word purse, but if you are stuck, then you have to come up with something. C'est is my best advice for you. Prêt? C'est parti. Okay, so 10 seconds, as you can see, is very quick. All right, but I don't want the video to be too long. So this is my answer. Mon porte-monnaie est noir et en cuir. As you can see, it's a very basic sentence. What do they want? They want you to talk about your purse. So I put mon porte-monnaie. Okay. Then they want two features. Noir, which is the color. Et en cuir. Cuir is leather. So I'm talking about the material. And that's it. And that will give you three points. Situation number two, you are making a list for your online grocery shopping. List two items that you wish to buy and the quantity of each item. Okay, so here it's very clear, it is a list, so they are not asking for full sentences. However, you need to ensure that you have two items and the quantity of each item. Vous êtes prêt? C'est parti. That's it. The 10 seconds gone. So here's my answer. Six œufs, 
500 g de farine. And that's it. This is my list. Have you noticed that I wrote CISE in full words and not in numbers? Have you noticed that? Well, it's because all numbers must be expressed in words. So if they, you have to talk about age, time, year, date and price, make sure that you write everything in full words. The same for temperature, measurements, weight, distances, etc. Situation number three. You are watching a television program. Send your friend an email saying two things you like about the program. Here again, we have this number two. So basically is expressing your liking, okay, what you like about a particular program. Vous êtes prêt? C'est parti. That's it. All right, so my response here is j'aime l'émission or le l'émission and then obviously the name of the program parce que c'est drôle et il y a un de mes acteurs préférés for example okay you can put anything you want but the first thing you have to say is what program you like which one you like j'aime l'émission or j'aime whatever and because you have to say what you like about you can say parce que because and then gives two reasons. I'm sure that you can manage that. Situation number four. You are going to spend the weekend at a friend's home. Send him or her a note stating one thing you don't like to eat. So here again, we have to express dislikes. Before it was likes and now it's dislikes. Vous êtes prêt? C'est parti. So here's my answer. Je n'aime pas les crevettes parce que je suis allergique aux fruits de mer. I don't like shrimps because I'm allergic to seafood. Okay, I chose this sentence because crevette, I mean, I love shrimps, so I would never write this, but it's just to show you a few things, actually. Very often students would write, je n'aime pas crevette. They tend to forget their articles, okay? So remember, the generic articles is les in this case because crevette is plural. So don't forget your article. Je n'aime pas les crevettes. And then you have to give an answer, uh, not an answer, a reason. Well, why not say je suis allergique? But if you use the word allergique, you have to remember that allergique is followed by a, the preposition a. And here, because I have a les, which changes into O, then I have to have, je suis allergique O, because seafood is plural, and it's the word fruit de mer, and it's always plural. Okay? So, je répète, je n'aime pas les crevettes, parce que je suis allergique aux fruits de mer. Situation number five. So for this situation, I am going to give you the formal and informal. Okay. So here is going to be informal. You send an email to your friend explaining why you cannot attend an event. 
what does the email say? So here, obviously, you know that is going to be informal because I said to your friend, okay? So you have the word why. So whenever you say, you, you see why, you know that you will have a parce que. Okay? So, vous êtes prêts? C'est parti! My response? Je ne peux pas venir à ta fête parce que je prépare mon examen de demain. I, I cannot come to your party because I am preparing for my tomorrow's, well, for my exams, which will take place tomorrow. Okay, so here we know that it's informal because we have the word ta, ta fête. So to make it formal, I change friends to friends' parents. You send a note to your friends' parents explaining why you cannot attend an event. What does the email say? Vous êtes prêt? C'est parti. Okay, so I haven't changed my response at all. What I have done, I just change one little word, which is votre. So instead of saying ta fête, I'm going to say votre fête. Situation number six. Your friend has just received your birthday invitation for next week. What does the card say? So here we know that we are in an informal situation because of the word friend, your friend. Okay? So, vous êtes prêts? C'est parti! My response, je t'invite à mon anniversaire à la maison samedi soir à partir de 19h. So you have to be careful here, especially if you don't have uh, all the information that you, you have to put. You have to make it very realistic, okay? If you invite somebody to your birthday, you need to say where when, okay, so where here is à la maison, when is samedi soir, and at what time, à partir de 19h, from 19h, 7pm, okay? So I repeat, je t'invite à mon anniversaire à la maison samedi soir à partir de 19h, and here again, I put this nerf in full words. Situation number seven. Your friends plan to go to the beach tomorrow and ask you to confirm what the weather will be like. Write the forecast that you send to them. So here, when you hear or when you read tomorrow, forecast, plan, these are key words to tell you that you have to use the future tense. If you don't use the future tense in this particular situation, you will not get your three points. And I don't even think that you will get any points at all, actually. So you have to be very, very careful. All right? Vous êtes prêts? C'est parti. Ok, so my response is Demain, il fera beau et chaud. So what I have done, I used demain because they say they plan to go to the beach tomorrow. 
Okay, so I put tomorrow. And then we're talking about forecast. So you know that it's, it's got to do with the weather, fair beau, fait chaud, anything like that. And I put it in the future. Il fera beau et chaud. That's the forecast. As you can see, very easy peasy lemon squeezy. Situation number eight. A relative has given you an item which you have always wanted as a gift. Write a note of gratitude mentioning the item. Okay, so now we know we have to say thank you, okay? However, you have to mention the item. You can't just say merci and that's it. Or merci pour le cadeau. You have to say something else. Okay, so I give you this 10 seconds. Vous êtes prêts? C'est parti. This is my response. Merci, tonton, pour l'ordinateur. Or, je te remercie, tati, pour l'ordinateur. What I've tried to do here, because it says a relative. So I put tonton or tati because tonton is for, is the little word you use for uncle and uh, tati for auntie, okay? And I mentioned the item, which is a computer, okay? I also said thank you. So merci or je te remercie and I'm go and I've underlined underline the te because I'm not going to use vous to my auntie. All right? So merci tonton pour l'ordinateur. Je te remercie tati pour l'ordinateur. Anything like that will work. And as you can see, it's very simple. I know you can do that. We are going to finish with two signs. I have noticed that students make mistakes with signs. So let's have a look at this one. Your father is trying to park in a place where parking is forbidden. What does the sign state? So you know that it's got to do with parking, all right? So it's quite, well, we know in English it's going to be no parking, all right? So how do you say that in French? No parking. Vous êtes prêts? C'est parti. My response is défense de stationner and that is no parking. So if you didn't know this, please learn it by heart. Défense de stationner. So when you see défense is basically saying you can't do it. It's, your, it's the equivalent of the no we say in English. Okay, stationner is the verb. So défense de stationner. All right, and when you have défense de, you can put any other verb, okay? If it's to smoke, you can put fumer, but you need to remember that you will always have the verb in the infinitive form. As you might know already, you always have the infinitive form after a preposition. Here, the preposition is de. So you need to have an ER or IR or RE, whatever uh, verb you have. This is our last situation. I chose it because uh, I remember a year where my students were completely lost with that one. So let's see how you will be doing. You want to go to a nightclub, but persons under 18 are not allowed. What does the notice at the entrance say? Mm -hmm. So, what does it say? Vous êtes prêts? C'est parti! This 
This is my response. Entrée interdite aux enfants de moins de 18 ans. So, if you don't know how to say it, please learn it today. Entrée interdite. So, entre, entrée is like admission. Okay. Interdite, forbidden. Then we have O, which is, if you remember, A plus LE gives you O. Enfant, children. De moins de. Less. So, if you say less than 18, it means under 18. Okay? So, just learn it like that. Entrée interdite aux enfants de moins de 18 ans. Well, we have come to the end of this video. Apart from situation 10, it was fairly easy, wasn't it? I hope that I have managed to convince you. Please do not leave any blanks and try to do as much as you can because 30 points, it's a lot of points. Okay? So make sure that you write something and that's it. Bonne chance. Good luck. So I hope that you enjoyed the video and please like it and share it. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. Au revoir.